In this video, we will begin solving equations, which have absolute values in the problem. As we do, we will remember that what is inside the absolute value, though the answer is always positive, what is inside can be positive or negative. This means we can have two solutions to our problems, one from the positive answer and one from the negative answer. Let's take a look at an example where we see this work out. In this problem, notice we have 2x minus 5 inside the absolute value. This means it could be positive or negative 7. Let's make two equations to show this. The 2x minus 5 could be positive 7, and the 2x minus 5 could be negative 7. As we do this, we now have two equations we can solve to find our two solutions. Let's solve the first equation. As we balance through the equal sign, we know we first move the term without x by adding 5 to both sides. This leaves 2x equals 12. Next, we divide both sides by 2 to isolate the x. x is equal to 6. To find our second solution, we solve the second equation. Again, we balance through the equal sign and start by adding 5 to both sides. We now have 2x equals negative 2. To get the x alone, we divide both sides by 2. The x is alone, we now have x equals negative 1. It is important to note, with absolute value, we should always have 2 different solutions, x equals 6 and x equals negative 1. Let's try another example where we can see these two solutions work out. Here, we have 7 minus 5x in absolute value. This can be either positive or negative 17. Let's make the two equations to show this. 7 minus 5x equals the positive 17, and 7 minus 5x equals the negative 17. This now gives us two equations, which we can quickly solve to find our values for x. Balancing through the equal sign, we know to first subtract 7 from both sides. This will leave negative 5x equals 10. Finishing the first equation, we can divide both sides by negative 5. We now have x equals negative 2. We still must solve the second equation. Again, we balance through the equal sign and begin by subtracting 7 from both sides. We now have negative 5x equals negative 24. To get the x alone, we divide both sides by negative 5. This gives us x equals the fraction positive 24 fifths. If we were to plug the first solution into the problem, negative 2, we would have negative 5 times negative 2, which is positive 10, plus 7. The absolute value of 17 is 17. Similarly, if we plug the 24 fifths in for x, we would end up with negative 24. Plus 7 would be negative 17, and the absolute value would make it positive 17. With absolute value, it's important to remember that we have two solutions, one from the positive and one from the negative number. 